All right, welcome back to the program. And joining me right now are my guests. Uh, Ena Obi is the country director at Action Aid Nigeria. She is at my far right. Yes, that's my right hand. And close to her is Ifai Nadi, Assistant Public Relations and Marketing Manager at Transco Hilton, Abuja. Welcome to you both. Thank Let, you very Let's much. get started. The big match starts, uh, starts today. Uh, Nigeria, Ghana, <laughs> World Cup qualifier. Uh, Nigeria will be playing later today. Let me start with you, Ifai. Yeah. I did say at the beginning of the program that that communications we also secured uh, the ticket uh, ticket sales, that's to sell the tickets to Nigerians yeah. that are interested to watch the second leg of the match on the 29th, mm -hmm. which is next week. Speak to me about how Nigerians have been, uh, you know, have, have they been buying the tickets? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, Transcorp Hilton is partnering as a, as a retail partner uh, using the Capital Bar. That's our premium sports bar. So what happens is that we have a, set, a desk set up just right in front of there. And we have lots of Nigerians who are you know, enthusiastic, really excited about the match. Some of them come with their sporting jerseys. Um, when they buy the ticket, some of them would you know, scan the barcode and ask you know, what times they're going, they're going to buy, uh, watch the match if they're not going to be at, uh, able to attend you know, the match at the stadium. So it's been really good um, seeing Nigerians really, really optimistic, enthusiastic uh, about the match, yes. Okay, so why the partnership with that communications in the first place, at least? Why did Transco Hilton agree to, to be one of the retail partners? So Hilton as a brand, as a global brand, has always been you know, affiliated with sports. Like we had the, we had the so um, hotel sponsors for Formula One. And in the past, really, Transco Hilton has always supported. We've done things like golf masters. We've done, we've done um, tennis. We've hosted, uh, we've hosted about six uh, teams for the Nigeria 99 in the hotel. Even champions, you know, people like uh, uh, Amar, um, Kamaru Usman was just at the hotel last, last mm. year. So we are always, we've been affiliated with sports. And for us, this is a good, good way to also support the Nigerian Super Eagles. So we're saying, oh, come to Transco Hilton, come to the Capitol Bar. If you can't go to the, um, the stadium to watch, we have our own stadium at the uh, Capitol Bar where you can really, really come your attire fits and then support the Eagles. Oh, yeah. so you, you guys have created like a stadium? Uh, it's <laughs> always a, I mean, the Capitol Bar is always a, a, a hub for sports and, yes. and knowing that it's of national interest, yes, a lot of Nigerians would also be there. Yeah. You know, football or sports, especially football in Nigeria is one unifying sport. As it were, when Nigerians are playing, or when the Super Eagles is, play, uh, is playing, not just even Super, super Eagles, any football match, be yeah. it on the 17 or whatever, you yeah. see that Nigerians really uh, come out. Just like the chairman of that communications PLC told me last week, uh, Raymond uh, Dokwasi Jr. said, he said that, you know, Super Eagles is a brand. It is. It is a brand. Now, let, let me come to you, uh, uh, Madam Obi. Action Aid. Yes. When Raymond Dokwasi Jr. told me last week, I was like, Action Aid. What has Action Aid got to do with, it, with this <laughs> World Cup qualifier? <laughs> what, what exactly? Why the partnership? The partnership is because uh, directly we are concerned about what is going on in Ukraine. You know, the issue of the Ukrainian war and uh, the, the records we are getting, the videos we are getting, and the AIT also covered, you know, some of the corridors, you know, in terms of the humanitarian disaster that is in some areas there. There are issues of uh, the reportage of racism at the corridors as people are striving to come out. We see that uh, a lot of not just Nigerians, but Africans are not allowed to leave. And, uh, and uh, while uh, it was like, we're going to let women out, we're going to let elderly people out, you know, but uh, even the attempt by black women, you know, to try to leave, it's like, we're going to let the whites out you know, on priority list. And we are saying this is about humanity. We need to be able to, you know, bring down the level of, uh, uh, bring ourselves down. So the collaboration is to look at, use the football timing and uh, bring it to the boner, the front boner, calling on the federal government of Nigeria to lead the African team, to lead ECOWAS and lead Africa for, uh, you know, more corridors to be open for Africans to come out. You know, and I think they need to take that responsibility. We're also bringing in, you know, these issues to the notice of uh, CAF and also, you know, FIFA and the Nigerian F uh, Football I Federation as well to be able to acknowledge what is going to go on there today, what is going to go on there even in the field by the act of kneeling 
to say that African lives matter. Mm -hmm. Action Aid is worried about vulnerability of people. You know, already some of our, uh, my, my teammates, because uh, Action Aid globally, we do deployment when there is a humanitarian crisis. And so some members of the Action Aid Nigerian team are already on their way, you know, to Poland, you know, to be on the team for Action Aid globally in terms of humanitarian. And so our focus is to look at what happens here to create that awareness and sensitize people that is not all well with Africans, you know, in Ukraine. Those who want to come out should be allowed to get out. The corridor, there are some of the places where, you know, a lot of people are trapped. But the only way now is for negotiations to happen. And we are calling on the embassies across Nigeria to also get in touch with their own, you know, home countries to let them know that there is humanitarian issues, there is issues of, uh, you know, racism that is going on and that we have noticed it and that we are very worried about that happening in 2022. And so these are some of the things. So uh, that communication is also, has got some tickets for us, you know, to use to sell, you know, which can be used for contribution to the humanitarian corridor, you know, at the, you know, uh, the different uh, camps that we might find ourselves. And so it's, um, it's about advocacy. It's about creating that awareness to say, this is happening at, at this time. Black lives matter. And where we come into these corridors, a lot of issues, we have seen some very horrifying videos where the, the blacks are being cornered off and other people are being allowed into the train. Mm. So it's more of, it's, it's the CSR of that communication space so exactly. really to work with We were quite aid. excited, you mm. know, when we got into the discussion, you know, um, uh, the, because this issue is not only leading, uh, you know, at this level of saying because of Nigerians, a lot of Nigerians have been, uh, come back home, they have returned home. We are happy that uh, AIT was able to even cover from the front line there, but many Nigerians are still trapped and we're worried about them. Not only Nigerians, but Africans are trapped there and we need to work with the whole of Africa, you know, and we believe that our government can lead that initiative that all is not well with mm -hmm. Africa. The kind of vulnerability that Africans find themselves is further jeopardized by the war at that corridor. Nigerian Ukrainians who are there coming back is another. And we have to also link it up with the issue of our own country's development. Because if we are fully developed, many of those who are trapped there, they went to school. What's going on that we have to send our children out of school? Ukrainians subscribe. should come to school in, in mm, Nigeria, Nigeria and not Nigerians because we have the population, we have everything. Mm. But we are excited about the partnership. Okay. Still talking, if I will come back to you in a bit. Uh, let me still dwell with you, madam. How does the process work? Uh, like, that communication space also gave you action aid tickets. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be selling those tickets to the process? Just tell me how it's it, going to work. It's like charity. Mm. It's like charity. So it's not going to be sold at the usual, you know, uh, normal ticket. But right. those who are willing to pay higher and render, and okay. a lot of people, you know, people are responding. And okay. we hope that at the end of the day, we also collaborate, you know, with uh, uh, Transcorp, since it's a whole partnership mm -hmm. across this, this trend, that people are able to raise money so that we can reach out, okay, you know, to so the humanitarian corridors. So you're calling, Action Aid is calling on high net worth individuals? You're high net worth individuals, corporate organizations. corporate organizations to buy. You can buy for your team, you know, and also contribute to the process that we are. Because our worry is that women and children are trapped. You know, so normally what we do is uh, when we have uh, people in every country, staff in every country that are trained by our humanitarian, you know, uh, an emergency team, and you are ready to deploy. And that's why some of my colleagues have been called up, and you have to be ready to deploy. Uh, of course, we worry about the safety of our staff as well. But uh, even with that done, you know, our lives are on the line for others. The proceeds, what will the proceeds be used for? the proceeds will be used to reach out both to the sensitization and also to get to the corridor to see how it is used. An account is opened, you know, that uh, will definitely get through to, uh, that will be publicized so that uh, the m amount is paid directly and we are quite transparent. Transparency and accountability is called for action aid. We're going to be able to do that. The hashtag is Black uh, African Lives Matter. African lives matter. Okay, fine. Let me come to you. You say you said earlier that tickets are being sold in droves. 
continue to buy those tickets. So there's also an outlet here in Dark Communications. For those of you that find your way here, you can also buy the tickets. Yes, right. Let me also mark it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I, what categories of tickets? Is there a category of tickets you trust go here to the selling or you sell all categories of tickets? And how much for those watching that want to take a trip to the Hilton? Well, we basically partnered for the VIP tickets, right? And of course, with the barcodes, people can scan and all that right there at the Capitol Bar. So it's just that uh, when they enter into the hotel, um, they can also come to the Capitol Bar, get their tickets, have a drink afterwards, relax, have good music and all that. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an all-round experience knowing that they can go to a safe place to buy these tickets. Afterwards, if they don't just want to buy, but they want to have a drink, they want to relax, light band music and all that, yeah, they do that. So for the barcodes, yes, you can scan and get any ticket category. But for the physical tickets, will basically be the VIP, the um, hospitality boxes, and all that. Yeah. Oh, so it's VIP. How much uh, is the ticket uh, going for? Should be for thank you. Ten thousand. Yes, and yes. I like the the slant to it. Okay, you come in, or don't just buy a ticket. Come in and take a drink, or and your drink goes for how much, or <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but only, anyway, mm. it's it, it's business. Um, is there a deadline? Is there a time frame? Because I know that ticket sales have been going on since I think since last week, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is there a deadline to when the ticket sales will be over? I can imagine. Because the match is next yes. week. Uh, for yes, I can imagine on the day, like right up until the day of the, the, the match. The, of course, we'll still have the, the outlets open for sales up until the match day. You know, so it should de basically be on the, the match day. The seats are not finished. Uh, the seats are not finished, but of course, uh, we hope that the seats actually, you know, fill the capacity, capacity. Because yeah. for us, it's a way of really, really supporting, telling Nigerians to come around. And if you want to, you know, go watch the match, come here, get the tickets, and by all means, go there. We'll have a, lot, a couple of uh, freebies as well to give for those who want to be at the bar to watch the match, support the match and everything. So it's really a great experience for Nigerians, really, from the process of getting the tickets to the match, the detentions. And, of course, we will love, uh, yeah, the future partnerships as well, yeah. What are the freebies? Market well, to me why I should leave my house watching. I come to the hills and I sit down. Transco hills and I sit down. <laughs> Well, the, well the ho I mean, if you the comfort of your house is good. For if you're always at the Hilton, you know that things like security, the um, the fact that you don't get to be worried about a lot, a lot, a little things that could be upsetting while watching a football match. You want the concentration, you want the passion, you want the energy. <laughs> and Capital Bar has the highest energy you find in Abuja. You have people who are passionate. They come with their jerseys while they're drinking, eating. You know, they they want to make sure that they are focused on the match and all that. So it's a really great ambience. Ambience if you want to be in a safe space to come with family and friends. It's it's the place. To and be. Uh, perhaps also to network. And oh, it's a goal! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And who you knows? Know, maybe, for know <laughs> maybe for every goal you get, you get an extra, you know, drink or to predict say. and win. You know, those are things. You know. The, the fun element of watching it really at, at the yeah. space, yes. It's always fun, w you know, watching such matches with many people. I know just, it's a goal, oh, everybody, oh, yes. everybody oh, yes. turns to an analyst oh, yes. and all of that. Oh, yes. Just as we close, Madam, I mean, what else do you have to say? I think it's important to come out in mass and support Nigerians, the super eagles of Nigeria. We are also calling on the football legends, mm. you know, of Nigeria to support what is going on in Ukraine to be able to pull out support. I think this is a great, it's a time for great energy, it's a time for encouragement, it's a time for focus for us to say, our brothers are somewhere else. Because if you don't feel, if you are not feeling pain, when the issues of humanity comes, it means the human in you is gone. You know, and so we are calling on the attention of the world to look at the racism issue that is on board there. We are happy to partner with, you know, with that communication. And we're really excited that, uh, a communication outfit can say, I'm worried about these issues. Can we talk about it? And I hope that where discussions are going on with the FIFA and the, and the you know, CAF as well, going on now and the uh, and, and Nigerian Football Federation, I hope that they'll be able to buy into it like that kneeling down of saying Black Lives Matter. Everybody is watching it. Let them get sensitized about the issues. And I hope Nigeria wins. Yes. <laughs> I also hope Today and then yes, Nigeria after. wins. You've just yes. said it all. It's an international competition, yes. and people will be watching all over the world. So, what a great time to propagate whatever message yeah. you want to mess uh, you, right. you want to give out. So, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. I've been speaking with Henny Obi, who is the country uh, director, uh, actually in Nigeria. Also, um, if I'm Nadia, assistant public relations and marketing manager, Transco Hills in Abuja. You've heard from him. Go get your tickets. There are also other retail outlets around Abuja, so you can 
uh, find that out. I guess some of those outlets have been scrolling on AIT, so uh, take note of that. But the most important thing is that we should all come out and support Super Eagles today. Yes. They must we know, like we say, by fire, by force. No, the prayer says we're praying nation. <laughs> <laughs> because the black stars of Ghana and Ghana as a country is going behind their country, uh, their, their, their black stars. I told you earlier, members of parliament, that is their national assembly, all wearing their dresses to the, <laughs> to the stadium, just to intimidate us. But whatever, I hope I will come out uh, with triumph at the end of today's match. Many thanks again. Thank all right, let's quickly.